how you do. So I'm off work. Work first shift very early. I like getting it out the way, but I don't like getting up so early. But you kind of get used to it. Um. So today I'm coming to talk about, I have an appointment to go to. But it's okay, I got time. I actually wanted to make the walk-in or whatever, but I need to do this video. Um, so this is about when you love someone. When you love someone. Um, I, I had a first love in high school, but it wasn't like my previous one. Um, and he chose another woman over me. He wanted both of us, basically. And that wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. So then he chose her. Okay. So I have been through, if you've seen any of my videos, and I'm not on YouTube for likes or, or subscribers. I don't care about that. I don't have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, none of that stuff no more. I had just the Instagram at later on in life and then just Facebook. I don't have none of that stuff anymore. And don't plan on never, ever having it. Like literally never, ever having it anyways. So, I have a lot of guys who come in asking me for my number. And they, the ones who do always look at my body, okay? Or flash money at me. Um, the one, like, 70-year-old Caucasian guy who I said no to looked older, like, old sugar daddy or son. I didn't know if he looked at me body-wise. And I wouldn't go with him anyways because, no. <laughs> Um, I am looking into other races, but the thing about it is I gave out a number to a, a person in my race, black, okay? I have a little Indian in me, but anyways, um, he had a suit and tie on, okay? That caught me. Now, when he texted me, he said the text was misunderstood, but I'm going to see. Because I'm not looking for nothing. I let him know that giving him my number because I haven't given my number out since my ex. And then... Every time I look at a guy, I don't see my ex, but I think about my ex. But I don't just think about my ex. I think about all of the bad experience I've had with men. Okay? And I have missed out. I have had two great guys in my life um, in, like, college. But I wasn't ready to date. And they didn't want to just be friends anymore. So they moved on, and they kept it going. They decided to... Uh, look into someone else which I totally understand and we couldn't just be friends so unfortunately that sucks but it is what it is um so I missed out because I wasn't ready I didn't love myself and I decided since I missed out on two good guys because I didn't love myself you know I was dealing with flaws and currently dealing with two flaws that I'm recovering the third one is like I need um a mouth guard because I clenched my tongue. But anyways, at night, that's something that is, you know. And I had to get a thicker lotion to finally recover my skin patches, which they are getting skinnier and skinnier, flatter and flatter, basically. Um, basically, if I pop a pimple, which I was so stressed out in my relationship. And then I was dealing with a bully at a job that I had to quit, sadly, in child care. Um, public school with the grade that I wanted, but I can always get back into it. The place that I'm at is retail is terrible, but I mean, it's doable stocking and it's not permanent. Um, actually when the money go back down because of the mass, um, it's, um, so much where I'm literally going to be making 16 come January, but it's going to go back down. I don't know when, but when it does, I'm going to get back in childcare because, like, I'm losing my weekends off, which sucks. You know, I only get one day off on the weekend. Um, but I, I've been hearing it or whatever. They only made it um, 15 because of the face mask. So, originally, it's like 12 or something like that. And then the raise would be 13 or something like that. But, anyways, um, so he's trying to say, you know, like, we voicemailing each other. Like, he trying to back up, like, oh, it was just misunderstood. But that's what you said, though. So, I'm going to just peep them. You know, I'm not rushing anything, of course. I'm not looking for nothing. Like, even friends. Like, I haven't had any guy friends. You know, I reached out to a college guy friend, and he was just changed. Um, but I was listening and driving to this appointment, which I'm about to go in soon. Because I'm going to try to make the walk-in. 
which my appointment have too. So if I don't, it it doesn't matter. Um, I was I I love music, and I always like. Recently, I was sad, so I was like, I'm gonna watch the Notebook. That's my favorite romantic movie that I couldn't watch anymore after my ex. I had to be like, so I've been a wussy and a freaking wimp and just watch it and. And it's also with love songs. So during my trip to my appointment, I was like, I want to change. I hate listening to romantic love. I love it, but, you know, from my ex and stuff, I hate listening to it. You know, plan on getting married. And, like, I never forget what my ex said. He was like, why you kiss me like that? (laughs) Because I love you. Like, I love hard. And I feel like in a relationship, of course, I've had things that I need to work on loving myself no guy friends which I would never cheat or anything but anyways I understand it you know um some other things um I let my work come into my relationship you know but I feel like a couple should work on things together you know to better of course that person has to work at themselves to to change but they still both should be able to make it work you know like help each other if that makes any sense and i'm looking for in the future when i'm i said that loud (laughs) i've been up since 3 a.m um i'm looking for somebody rare and i told this person that you know i seen him in the tiles okay he's a businessman he's handsome i don't go by looks even with my ex or anybody i've never since my first kiss which was in high school (laughs) begging for a kiss you know i've never had a kiss i you know, I maybe had, like, two guys who ever liked me. And that was when I finally was kind of getting it together. Like, learning how to dress, learning how to do my hair, you know. When I was younger, I didn't know how to do none of that. My sisters had to help me. I wasn't confident. I wasn't, I didn't have high self-esteem. And it was all because of what I went through. Um, if you've seen my past videos, of been, one of my eyes was crossed. And I had to wait from 6 to 13 for eye surgery. I had to wait. But anyways, um, so whenever I'm listening to these songs, I think about my ex and like whenever I give my number out, which this is the first person I've given my number out since my ex and it's been a while. Um, I feel so like bad, like, you know, like I feel bad, like I'm still in the relationship and I'm not, um. I ask because you love someone, you know, when you love them, you you just feel bad, like, and you will get over it, of course, everything you have to get over. You don't want to because you wish things worked out, you know, with my sister, my one brother, who's uppity and trying to get back close to him and the niece and, you know, wasn't invited to her, you know, party and I already should have expected it, but I think people would change but even my ex you think people change and they don't change um but that's all i wanted to talk about in this video um so i'm just gonna play it cool because i'm not looking for nothing but that comment oh i didn't say the comment he texted me so he said trust and believe lady because i told him he looked at my butt you know because i said i dance and you know then he looked at my butt and i kind of was like Ugh. but you know i gave him my number and you know whatever just to see what he was saying. And the first thing he said is that's all he, that's the only thing he care about is looks, get his attention. And so I told him, you know, I'm not, that's not a turn on, you know, I'm not looking for even a guy friend who think that way. I understand. I told him, you know, I understand men care about the butt and the booze, but that's not the first thing you care about. The first thing you should care about is getting to know them as a person or like, what they love to do or, or, you know, what's their occupation. Something beyond the looks should be the first thing somebody care about. Because with me, with my ex, my other ex from high school, and any other future guy in the future, I don't look at looks. Like, I'd be like, okay, they're handsome. But I look at more than that. I looked at his attire and was like, okay, this is a business thing. Man, I never dated somebody with no business attire. So that caught me, you know. You know, so it wasn't just the looks, basically. And when I was thinking, oh, he's handsome, I was thinking if I was to get his number, which I wasn't thinking getting his number, obviously. 
Um, not just because I was working, but that's just me. Like, I would be like, okay, handsome, and go about my life and go about my day, you know. But he came back and got my number. He said, I just had to get your number. Um, that's just not what I think about. It can be a guy friend. We're just friends, and I just don't think about their looks. I think more about a person, you know. Like, oh, I want to get to know this person as, like, to learn about them, learn about something other than looks. So I, it's rare, but it's out there. But most men are just sex, looks. And I don't know about this guy, but what I got impression-wise, I go off of now. Um, I always went off of that, but I have to be very careful. <laughs> um, because the world is getting crazier, and I've always been very careful. Um, okay? But anyways, God bless.